hands that heal nations stretched out on a tree and took the nails for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. One day he's coming, and one day that trumpet's going to sound. And the sad part is we don't have enough Marys, and we have too many Marthas. We do not have enough Marys, and we have too many Marthas. If you have your Bible this morning, this is what God laid on my heart. Luke chapter 10 is where I'm going to be bringing it from. But before I get into that, those joining by television, uh, Sister Valerie has just released her uh, new CD. And uh, there's going to be information on the screen telling you how you can obtain it if you'd like to have it. Uh, Sister Valerie Manus has uh, released her new CD, and you can, uh, you can uh, in other words, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but they're, they're trying to send me a message. But anyway, uh, dial the number on the screen, and they'll tell you how you can get it. If there's information on the screen, you, you'll, you'll want it. And uh, if I, it's, it's a great CD, I'm telling you that. And anyway, uh, if you have your Bible, turn to Luke chapter 10, uh, because I, uh, we don't do anything professional around here. We just get it done the best way we can. Uh, anyway, Luke chapter 10, it, in verse 38, it says, Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered and uh, about much serving 
and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. We've got too many Marthas and not enough Marys. Not putting Martha down because she chose to serve the Lord. She was a servant and a very good one. But Martha was just like the church today. Martha was too busy serving God and worrying about the, the things, how it was going on. Do I need to put the potatoes over here? Do I need to get the, how, uh, get the roast out of the oven? How to, what, what, I need to put the drink on the table? Do the glasses have ice in them? People just get so busy. Martha was so caught up. She had a bunch of company. The disciples were with Jesus. Lazarus, her brother, was there. And she had a house full of guests. And her sister, in the midst of preparing a big meal and setting out a big meal for everybody, her sister chose to go into the living room and sit down at the feet of Jesus, one of the disciples or one of the men, one of the guests. Martha got a little upset because her schedule was running a little bit behind her. She didn't have enough help. And she got a little anxious about it. She got a little bit uptight about it. Mary, get in here and help me. Jesus, don't you care that I'm getting behind the foods, getting cold, and people are not going to be able to eat? She didn't say it that way, I'm sure. And that's not the intent. But she was so busy and so concerned about taking care of her job. She took on that responsibility. It's my responsibility to do this. And my responsibility, the things that I have to do, is more important than worshiping the Savior. That's the spirit of Martha that's on the congregation of the church today. That's the spirit that dwells right here in Crossroads Community Church, but not necessarily as great as in many of the churches in the area. Many of the churches have closed their doors on Sunday night because the congregations have got too much to do. And it costs more to pay the electric bill than, than, than the tithes and offerings. So the pastor chose to close the doors. That's the spirit of Martha on that congregation. They don't have time in their schedule to come service and worship the Lord, to come praise Him and worship Him. Their schedules are too busy. Many of the churches don't have Wednesday night services anymore. We drove down the road the other night, and Debbie started counting the churches. Started counting the churches, and I think she got up to 13. No service. No services. I think one out of 13 or two out of 13 or something like two out of 15 were having service. The spirit of Martha is out there. It's nothing wrong with serving God. It's not a thing wrong with serving God. But when we put 